Welcome back to the Prep Picks Report. You can see Carol's Corner in its entirety Tuesday nights on the All Sports Report or shortly on KUSI.com when we upload it. Allow me to introduce the subject of Carol's Corner, none other than Santa Fe Christians, Dimitri Washington. Young man, well, what does it feel like to have coaches uh, Carol Cor Carol's Corner highlighting you? Uh, it's awesome. It's a dream come true. It's uh it's what you look for as a young kid always watching PPR. He says you're a, a, a player. That's the highest compliment anyone can say, huh? Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right, well, let's look at the uh, game against Torrey Pines. Uh, a year ago, you stunned them. You know they were going to be coming loaded for Bear, or in this case, loaded for Eagles. Tell us about the game. How hot was it? It wasn't that bad. They game planned well. They're a great team. Um, they outplayed us, and uh, we just have to get back at it next week. Um, and. Uh, just get going. You know, you, the two schools are so close together, I, I assume you know a lot of guys on the other side of the ball, right? Absolutely. We won this game, but um, they got it. Well, you know, that's, uh, that's the way it breaks down. We have a graphic here. Look at all the schools so far that uh, have offered you a, a full ride. 15 and counting, and a lot of them are pretty darn prestigious schools. Young man, uh, does it feel good to be the, so wanted? Yes, sir. It's a dream come true. Um, we talk to your parents every day, and as a kid, just when you're laying down, telling your mom what your dreams are, and to play college football, and now that it's here, it's just it's happy and just a dream come true. Well, it seems like just about every in the, everybody in the Ivy League uh, is looking after you. What's going to be the deciding factor for you? Uh, just a place where I feel home. Um, coaching staff that I feel like is family, and then um, I also also want to win and um, just play a uh, role. Well, each week we ask a social media person to ask a question. And then look who Brandon Stone, he wanted to get on it because he had this question he wanted to ask. <laughs> I was so stupid. I'll, I'll explain why. What was last year's team slogan for Santa Fe Eagles, for your football team? It was PPR, uh, Purpose. Yeah, but it wasn't prep picks or <laughs> No. <laughs> explain what it was. It was Purpose, uh, Process, Result. I was so excited that you guys were honoring the high school football. <laughs> and then it had to be something really meaningful. Uh, t tell us, speaking of meaningful, tell us about some of the trips you've taken and why you've taken them. Uh, so trips I've taken, I've been to Taiwan on a mission trip and also the Dominican Republic. Uh, why? Uh, two great places. Um, our one thing at Santa Fe they allow us to do is um, take mission trips to places like uh, the Dominican or Taiwan where we can spread God's love and God's word around uh, the rest of the world. And when you, uh, what, when you come visit another country, what is your impression? Uh, is, does it kind of ground you a little bit when you come back and realize, hey, we have it pretty good here? Absolutely. When I was in the DR, you got to see people with so little. I'm so happy all the time. You can truly see, um, just truly see like a difference how they take on the day and just inspires you to um, do something, uh, just do something better. And, um, and then also in Taiwan, um, just overall, just caring about others. Um, they show, um, unbelievable amount of respect to each other and just something when I came home was like I want to treat people like that. Very cool. Before we let you go, we, we know you can play on the football field. We certainly have seen proof of that. But we also have this video. Kid, you have some hops. Tell us about your basketball stuff. Uh, I've been playing basketball since uh, sixth grade and um, I started getting uh, started being able to jump uh, pretty well in yeah, um, ninth grade uh, just from working with uh, our strength and conditioning coach. but. It's definitely fun, just using extra lesson, showing that big people can still move. All right, well, let's get through this quick. History is your favorite subject, right? Absolutely. You specialize in World War II. I'll ask three questions. You get all three right, you go home with a PPR sweatshirt, all right? Yes, sir. All right. Are you ready back there in the control room? Which country did Germany invade first? Poland. That, the, the answer is correct. September 1st, 1939, the Polish army was defeated in weeks. General Ath Anthony Mc McAuliffe was... Uh, Acting commander of the 101st Airborne, uh, he was surrounded at Bastogne. The German saw a general said, hey, we want you to surrender. His one word response was? Nuts. That is correct. The 101st held off the Germans until the 4th Armored Division arrived on December 26th and provided reinforcement. All right, you're two-thirds two of the way there. What two heads of state met at the Casablanca, Casablanca Conference in 1943? One hint, Humphrey Bogart is not a head of state. <laughs> It was Winston Churchill and FDR. Yeah, of course it was. The Castle Black Conference French, uh, took place in French Morocco from January 14th to 24th, 1943. They helped plan the uh, continued the, uh, European strategy for the next phase of the World War II. Young man, you earned yourself Thank a scholarship. You. Uh, these, vo these votes have been counted and recounted. It's time to identify the Play of the Week winner. And who will go home with the Play of the Week t-shirt? The Silk Cashmere Blend. Drum roll, please. Hi, my name is Jacob Wu from Otay Ranch High School. And the Play of the Week winner is... 
Dimitri, the winner is... DeAndre Daniels. That's my guy. I'm excited to see that. Uh, De uh, DeAndre Daniels. You, the viewers, deeming this play worthy of the most coveted garment in all of high school oh. sports. The Silk Cashmere Blend oh, Play of the Week tee would not go down. Scrabbles, buys time, and fires downfield for the touchdown. Young man will be mailing the t-shirt to you at school. Wear it with pride, for you have earned the right to wear it. That sound means the show is over. On behalf of Dimitri and the entire PPR team, thanks for watching our comeback show. You can help us by supporting our generous sponsors who make this show happen. We'll be back next week. Same pig time, same pig channel. Sorry. Right.